Compound effects, chapter two, choices. Owning 100%. We are all self-made men and women, but only the successful take credit for it. I was 18 when I was introduced to the idea of personal responsibility at the seminar and the concept completely transformed my life. If you threw out the rest of this book and only practice this one concept, within two to three years, the changes in your life would be so great, your friends and family would have difficulty remembering the old you. In that seminar I attended at 18, the speaker asked, what percentage of shared responsibility do you have in making a relationship work? I was a teenager, so wise in the way of true love. Of course, I had all the answers. 50-50, I blurted out. It was so obvious. Both people must be willing to share the responsibility evenly or someone's getting ripped off. 51-49, yelled someone else, arguing that you'd have to be willing to do more than the other person. Aren't relationships built on self-sacrifice and generosity? 80-20 yelled another one. The instructor turned to the easel and wrote 100-0 on the paper in the black, big back black. The instructor turned to the easel and wrote 100-0 on the paper in big black letters. You have to be willing to give 100% with zero expectations of receiving anything in return, he said. Only when you're willing to take 100% responsibility for making the relationship work, will it work. Otherwise, a relationship left to chance will always be vulnerable to disaster. Whoa, this wasn't what I was expecting but I quickly understood how this concept could transform every area of my life. If I always took 100% responsibility for everything I experienced, completely owning all of my choices and all the way I responded to whatever happened to me, I held the power. Everything was up to me. I was responsible for everything I did didn't do or how I responded to what was done to me. I know you think you take responsibility for your life. I've yet to ask anybody who doesn't say, of course I take responsibility of my life. But then you look at how most people operate in the world. There's a lot of finger pointing, victimhood, blaming, and expecting someone else or the government to solve their problems. If you've ever blamed traffic for being late or decided you are in a bad mood because of something your kid, spouse, coworker did, you're not taking 100% responsibility. You arrived late because the printer was busy. Maybe you shouldn't have waited till the last minute. Coworker messed up the presentation. Shouldn't you have double checked it before delivering it? Not getting along with your unreasonable teen, there are countless fantastic books and classes to help you learn how to deal. You alone are responsible for what you do, don't do, or how you respond to what's done to you. This empowering mindset revolutionized my life. Luck, circumstances, or the right situation wasn't what mattered. If it was to be, it was up to me. I was free to fly, no matter what was, sorry, no matter who was elected president, how badly the economy tanked, or what anybody said, did, or didn't do. I was still 100% in control of me through choosing to be officially liberated from past, present, and future victimhood. I'd hit the jackpot. I had the unlimited power to control my destiny.